Hello everyone. This is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to calculate the mean, median, mode, and other such values of a data set on the TI-84 plus CE or any other TI-84 plus graphing calculator. So I just came up with a couple examples here. So let's see if we can find the mean, median, and mode of these data sets. So to get started, press the stat button. And then the first option here, which is edit, is where we type in our lists. So let's just press enter. And we want to type in all of our list values in L1. Uh, so there are two things that can go wrong here. If you don't have L1 or L2, what you can do is go to second, mode, stat, and then the fifth option here, setup editor, and that will give you L1 and L2 if they're not there. And then the second problem you can have is that there's already values typed in here. So you can clear out any lists by just pressing the, pressing the up arrow key, selecting the list name, pressing clear, and hitting enter. Okay, now that that's all sorted out, let's actually type in our values into the L1 listed here. So we have 7, 5, 2, 7, 6, 12, 10, 4, 8, 9, and 7. And then uh, once you've typed in all of your values, you can press second and then mode, which is quit, to get out of this. So now to find the actual mean, median, and mode, we press stat again, press the right arrow key to go to calc, and we want to go to one of our stats. So uh, for the list, you type in the name of the list where you typed in your values. So I typed in mine in uh, to L1, where it says that right there. Uh, if you typed it into a different list for some reason, uh, make sure you type the correct list name. And the list names are down here. So if I wanted to type L2, I would press second and then two because L2 is right there. And I would type in L2. Um, but I typed mine into L1, so I'm gonna go with uh, L2. L1. And then for the frequency list, uh, we don't have a frequency list here. Uh, frequency lists are basically a list that contain the number of times each value occurs. So we have that in example 2, uh, but example 1 is just a straight list of numbers, uh, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, so now we can press calculate, and it will give us all of our values here. So x bar is equal to the mean, uh, we have our sum, our variances, uh, we have the number of values in the data set is n, we have the minimum, the maximum, the median here, and our quartiles. As you can see, it doesn't actually give us the mode, um, but we can kind of get around that by going back to stat, and you can see the second option here is sort ascending. So basically what we can do is just sort the list in ascending order, and this will make it easier to find numbers that occur several times, and this will make it easier for us to find the mode. So if we go to sort ascending, press enter, and then just type in the list name that we want to sort in ascending order. So I've typed my values into L1, so I'm going to go to L second, and then L1, which is 1, and then just hit enter. So now if I go back to stat, uh, go back to edit, you can see that L1 is now sorted in ascending order. And you can just sort of look for the mode here. Um, you can see that 7 is listed three times in a row, and there isn't really any other, any other value that is listed that many times in a row. So we know that 7 is the mode because it appears the most a number of times in the data set. And that's pretty much all there is to it, but if you have a list that has a number of occurrences for each value, uh, so this basically means that 10 occurs one time in the data set, 12 occurs two times, and so on, uh, this process is slightly different, but it's still pretty straightforward. So just go back to stat, select edit, and now let's just clear out L1 if you have anything typed there, by, press, by going back to, to the list name, pressing clear, and hitting enter. So now uh, let's just type in the values that we have in the first column into L1. So 10, 12, 23, 42, 16, 33. And then we can type in the number of occurrences or the frequency list into L2. So we have 1, 2, 5, 2, 3, and 2. And now we can get out of this by doing second and then mode, which is quit. And then let's go back to stat, calc, one bar stats. So we, uh, we have our list of values in L1, so that's all right. And then the frequency list is in L2, so we go to second and then two, assuming you typed it into L2. Um, and then go back uh, down to calculate, hit enter. And these will be our statistics for uh, this list right here. All right, I hope that video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video.